Recording in progress. Well, well, well. Almost ready.
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, Chenita. How are you? I'm fine. I'm really good. And you? Happy. Finally, happy. Nice. I got you here in class. Yeah, because Thank finally you. I got you here in my class. <laughs> yes, teacher, I told you. I try, I try. That's nice. And tell me, how's everything for you? Everything is good, teacher. I have a lot of work, but everything is good. Oh, that's nice. So glad to hear it. It's good that you keep busy, you know, otherwise you start doing bad things. Yeah, it's good when you are busy because the time uh, is gone fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you gotta rest, remember? I mean, the stress is going to catch up with you. Yes, yes, I try, teacher, I try. That's a big problem. I mean, and remember that stress is kind of silent. But I followed your example, teacher. You work a lot. You never rest. Well, yeah, I rested uh, 10 minutes to eight. I finished my class, so I have 10 minutes for resting. Now, at 10 p.m. Yeah, you know, I have today uh, a class, and man, it was like, uh, I don't like being a student. So tired, teacher. No, it's just that being a student for me is boring. I'm used to be Why? the teacher, not the student. Okay. But uh, just two more years of it. <laughs> Um, how do you say está acostumbrado? You are used to. Oh, okay, yeah. You are used to. Well, yeah. Sort of in a way. But you know, I mean, this is like uh, kind of a tiresome, you know, some weeks are harder than others. It's part of the work. Yeah. What can we do about it? It's like in your case, when you, whenever you get close, it gets crazy, right? Yeah, it's very crazy, so, so crazy. And this month, more, more than another month. More than others. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, and it's getting like more complex day after day. We got more job, more responsibilities, more activities, right? Yeah, yes, but something happened, teacher. Yeah, well, let's hope everything goes okay for you. Yeah, well, it's okay, teacher. Okay, well, Shanita, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Let's see, guys. Give me just a second. Just a second, guys. Let's see who else is around. Marta, hello, Marta. Hi, teacher, good evening. How's everything? Everything was okay, teacher. 
today was a normal day for me. You know the same story, uh, some calls, um, some cases, but I am here. I am ready for the class teacher. That's nice. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, that's perfect. Sorry guys, I hate post-its, they post it, they fly away. Okay, so a good day, right? Yeah, yeah, normal day, teacher. And you? Me, well, you know, let's see, I went, uh, I have classes, classes, then I went down from San Salvador to pick up some books for my son, you know, for his university. Oh. Then I came back home, rested for a little while. Then I had a class. I finished it like 15 minutes ago. And now I'm here. Well, a regular day. Okay, teacher. I've been very busy. Yeah, yeah. But that's the way it goes. It's and normal that's... for you. Yeah. It's normal, nothing to worry about. Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you You're very much. It's teacher. nice having you here. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Susanna, how are you? How's your throat? Good evening, teacher. Okay, we will talk later, Susanna. Take it easy. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. No problem. Susanna is reaching poverty. That's her problem right now. <laughs> Sorry, Susan, I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's see, Nicholas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. I'm just fine, just fine, you know, same old story. How's everything? Well, uh, well, today I, I, I was right uh, to, Cuba. Uh, okay. We are in a meeting with uh, a group of pers of persons, uh, specifically a uh, uh, organization. Uh, the objective is is uh, is prepare a, a document. A, about a uh, cofinanciamiento cofinanciamiento eh uh, sorry co cofinanciamiento okay uh, for for uh, for for projects for a, a, a project uh, of water system in uh, my my company um, my company invertirá. Invest will invest. Will invest uh, three three uh, three uh, thirty thousand thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Thirty thousand for a uh, for mejoras. Improve. Improving the system, improving the system. Uh, the, the organization uh, investment, investment? Yeah. Well, will investment. Uh, will invest. Will invest uh, 130, 100, 100, 3,000 dollars. That's a lot of money. That's it's real correct, money. teacher. Yeah, it's correct. Well, that's a lot of money. Cien, ciento treinta mil dollars. Yeah. Okay. A hundred and yes. thirty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. And uh, well, is the the conclusion of the meeting today is a good day for me. Uh, and prepare the document for tomorrow. And the, the president 
the the president the president B a signature firmar sign yeah signature will the, sign resign will sign will sign the document for tomorrow oh. Well, that's nice. That's nice. It's good that you got work. Thank you, Nicolas. Convenio. Nice having you here. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. How's vacation going on? Mm, well, I have a good day, but it was uh, a little bit tried it because I have to go some place. Uh, I have some pendings uh, about my family. Oh, really? Yes. So you have to move around? Yes, in the morning, but in, in the afternoon I take a nap and well, tomorrow I took a nap, sorry. What about you? About me, about working, working, classes, classes, driving. Same old story as usual, you know. You not always teach English. Yeah, not much new. Yeah, okay. next week I'm gonna do a homework. And by the way, guys, I'm missing, I'm gonna send you the, the the PPT related to conditional perhaps tonight or tomorrow morning because I have had some troubles with uh, well, my computer, the one that I have at my other job. So it's a problem when I got files here and there. And there is where I have my, my presentations. But don't worry, I will send it. Amber, thank you very much. A pleasure to have you here. As usual. Thank you, teacher. To you. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Well, you know, same old story as usual. Tell me what's new. What's it doing? <laughs> Uh, I don't have news. I only work all the day. I have a lot of cases. And, but I think it's a good day because the platform don't it's they demanding. But what's I have, demanding? I have what's demanding, but have a lot of cases, but depends uh, uh, is it, if the sailor to upland at the same time, it's very complicated to see all the cases in the same moment or, or at the same yeah. moment. Uh -huh. But when the sailors upload the cases in the different side or with a different minute, it's more easy. It's, it's easier. It's for easier. Me. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> but I, I say good. I buy a torta mexicana for the dinner. <laughs> okay. And so you have dinner ready, you are ready to <laughs> take the class and after the class go to sleep. Yes, because I only uh, waiting for finish the class and I come to my bed and I sleep. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna crash, that's cool. That's yes. But nice, nice. I wonder, I try to remember what it feels like. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, <no more. laughs> I am mine. I am mine. <laughs> nice having you here, Maria Alejandra. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hey, guys, before anything else, let me get the attendance, please. Amber Eliel Faro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. 
Then El Eduardo Sagrada Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Solo falta el de la Antonella la ahora. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Estefan Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Jenny Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. Let's see. Give me just a second. Hmm. Hey, let's see. Hey, Erwin, how are you? Hey, teacher, how are you today? Just fine, just fine. What about you? Um, really good, but a little bit tired uh, because I was working with my kids today <laughs> in the Complejo La Libertad. Oh, really? so, oh yeah, you told me the other day. Uh, right. yeah. uh, every Tuesday? Is the same thing, and uh, it's a little bit um, hard to work with uh, teenagers. I can imagine. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, after a while, it gets you get the rhythm of it. Mostly in my case, I like working with teenagers and adults. I love it. Okay. For me, it's, no, for me, it's I, hard I, to I, work with little kids. Yeah, it's more difficult, more dangerous, and it's a big compromise. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, well, uh, according to the law, Lepina law, yeah. uh, if working in my area in a restaurant with a swimming pool, uh, if a little kid uh, fall down, I can do, I can't do anything because it's really, really dangerous uh, talking under the law. Um, if I touch this little kid, maybe I, I can be, I, I could be a jail. I could go to jail. Sorry? I could go. I could go to the jail, yeah. Okay, so, now, uh, uh, Erwin, uh, sorry to interrupt you. If a little kid falls in. Falls in, not yeah. in the swimming pool, just running or by, something like that. By, then it's by the swimming pool. Okay. Would you say uh, running all around the swimming pool or in the vicinity, near the swimming pool? If you express that idea, okay. you can use by. By swimming yeah. pool, okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of complex. I mean, nowadays with the law, 
yes. gotta be you gotta be pretty careful. And yeah, I understand the problem. We have to deal with those situations on a daily basis, but that's the way it goes, right? Yes. But I I have a great day uh, teaching some uh, things to these uh, teenagers, uh, something about tourism, about um, uh, what's the name of uh, Ama de Llaves in English is? Oh, I know that word. Uh, I, I forgot <laughs> the name. And the the work of the maids too. Uh, the housekeeper, the housekeeper. Uh, the housekeeper, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the housekeeper do and what's the maids do? But uh, nowadays it's common to uh, uh, to find a, a housekeeper male, not a female. It's very common too in the hotels. Uh, instead of uh, the, the maids, recamareras. The maids. Uh, maids. Uh, there are males, female, but I, I'm not sure if you can use the same word for males. A male, a male, male. I just don't know why you couldn't use. Because if you look for the dictionary, yeah. it yeah. translates for female. Yeah, I think must be another uh that's another term. But I need to remember, just give me a second. I will try to remember because I have okay. seen a uh I have seen uh what do you call it? Uh another term that could be used. Okay. So uh, what are the functions uh, into the hotel? Uh, what are the uh, bu bus buses? Um, yeah, yeah buses. Uh, and the structure of the, uh, how do you say organigramma? The structure of the company actually okay okay the structure of the company uh we were talking about the uh hotel five stars four stars big hotels medium and small hotels and a little bit of um the the the, the, the new and the the system that is the uh, what's the name of this uh you can rent a, a, a room into a house, not in a hotel, is yeah. Airbnb, Airbnb. So we're, uh, we were talking about Airbnb yeah, too. Uh, uh, bed and breakfast. I'm sorry? A bed and breakfast, right? Uh, repeat, please. Did you say B, R, and B, right? Or no, it's a, a, B, a Airbnb. A Airbnb is is a Airbnb. is a term. Uh huh. If you if you have a house and you want to rent a, a room for a foreign people, and maybe you can give them the breakfast lunch or something yeah, like that. that's a bed and... that's a bed and breakfast a bed and breakfast that's the way we call it yes i know what you yes mean. but, but the, uh, there is a, a a new company a world new company called airbnb oh really uh, it's uh how do you say in spanish when somebody from san miguel comes to san salvador and, and rent our little room. It's a in a family house. Oh, 
pupilaje. Is it something like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Airbnb is something like that. Okay, well, that's quite interesting. Always interesting. Talking to you, Erwin. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. I still got a couple of minutes because today we're going to do a couple of activities before. Let's see, Rebecca, hello. Excuse me, sir, what was the question? Hello, how are you? Hello, Rebecca. Yes, I can hear you now. Hello, how are you? Well, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> Just arrived to my house, trying to relax and hearing the, the, the class. <laughs> okay, I think was nice. Uh, and how was your day? Say? Yeah, it was a busy day a little bit because I, ha I had a lot of work trying to fix some problems <laughs> at work, but uh, at least I have help. <laughs> I have, I don't know, come, uh, I don't know what more can I say? Well, I, I had a, um, a surprise when I arrived here to my house because I have a new pet that I didn't, I didn't know. Oh, really? How come? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? How come? When yeah, I ask I you, how come I mean, uh, como así, or como así? Uh -huh. Well, I think my, my partner, my partner uh, find, find it in, uh, in, in a place, found I don't it. know. Found it. Found it, found it in a place. It's a, it's a little dog. Like oh, hey, a puppy. Yeah. yeah, a puppy. And we have three cats more. <laughs> I think there's a, the there are a lot of pets more than than I like. <laughs> oh, more pets oh, that uh, I would like to have. Yeah, but you know that happens. I mean, and pets after a while you get uh, you like them. Yeah, I think yeah. But I don't have time to, to take care of them. So I don't know what time I, I, I can spend with them. I cannot play with them during the day. And at night, I have to, to stay in, in the class. So I don't have to, to take care or play with them for that. I understand you. Yeah. <laughs> I have other pets on my parents' house. But I, I just can see them and play with them when I when go there on Friday and Saturday. Okay, well, you gotta start a new experience. Whenever you get a new pet, it's a new experience, a new learning yeah. also. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't have another it. option. <laughs> yeah, it's part of it. It's part of it. What can we do? I mean. If, yeah. if it's a if it's a fat fat and complete, I mean, there's no way out. So let's just face it. Hell on. <laughs> I would try. <laughs> Welcome, Rebecca. Nice having you here. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now, very very simple. I'm gonna send you into group. You're going to tell your classmates at uh, least two activities that you perform today, but I want full sentences because when uh, you're going to report about your classmates, I need you to take notes. I need you to express me the full sentence, okay? The activities that, two activities that your classmates, your partner has performed during this day. Let's jump in. This is 
quite easy and quite fast. Four minutes, it's okay. Let's do it, guys. Oh. Hello, teacher. I don't know if you could repeat the the instructions because I just press just the tell joint. just tell two activities that you performed today. Complete ah, sentences, okay. full sentences. Okay. Okay. Well, I only want to continue with the process uh, to get a permission of the BMT to transport uh, some schoolers. So it uh, was a busy day, but thanks God, I, fin I already finished. That's cool. Yeah, yeah because those processes was hard. are- was, was really hard, teacher, because they, today they require uh, one requirement that they uh, include in the last 15 days, I guess that I have to use uh, one, uh, one, uh, let me one second, cone of yeah. one matter, one cone. Oh, really? C -O -N -E. Yeah. Yeah, a big one. Yeah, but I don't know why, but we have to, to cover that uh, requirement and also we have to use a one, uh, I don't know, I, I don't remember what is the name, a extinguidor. Uh, I remember fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher, yeah, of 10 pounds. I don't know why, All but right. yeah, it's too much, but I don't know why they include that requirement in the last... Well, Look at it this look at it this way. You're gonna be safer. Yeah, that's right, teacher. That's right, but I don't know why it's too big for the micro bus. I know. I but know, but then Scott, well, I already look at, the, look, the process. looking at it, looking at it from the from the philosophy that better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's right. And today I'm only wait for the answer. For the resolution. Let's so hope it goes okay for you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hope, I'm hope so. I hope, I hope I'm hopeful. So that, I, I hope, am hopeful. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm hopeful that that's gonna happen. Okay, you got two lovely ladies here waiting for you to yeah. listen to them. So I'll let you at it, guys. If I. I need to go alone or with, with another of my kids. Um, I prefer to ride my motorcycle. And uh, it's less expensive than to drive a car. Yeah, of it's course. It's less expensive than driving a car. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, I, I, think, I think by uh, a motorcycle, I think I uh, I I am thinking because my family no is no is uh, no approve 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 yes approve I my my family no approve the the idea my idea 
for the accident, for different accidents in the, in the, in the street. In, in the street in La Gloria, for example, is, is frequently the accident with motorcycles. Yes. Uh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Uh, Erwin, uh, would you mind sending me a text to WhatsApp right now, please? Yes. I need to send you something. I'm sorry, guys. Please continue, Nicholas. Sorry. Okay. sorry. You have to. I'm happy to be at home. <laughs> yeah, but you have to be careful with sorry because if you don't have a, a kind of activity to, to uh, how do you say, botar el estrés? What expression? Or, 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 or get avoid rid of stress. stress? No, get rid of stress. Or... Yeah, Release. the problem is, yeah, no, get rid, get rid. Get rid. Yeah, the problem is that, you know, nowadays with the kind of life we live, it's so hard to say, I mean, we are not going to get stressed, but you need to look for our options to, to, to get rid of some stress, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, because uh, I, I guess, Osorio, because um, we have many, many activities in our jobs, but when the day it is finishing, oh my God, the stress, it is, it is so hard. Then yes. I try to, to, to do every day some activities. For example, I just arrived from the, I, I went to the church. I try to go every day. Because I, I feel so good when I go to the church mm -hmm. or sometimes I, I, I play soccer from, from, from my house with my children or they, they start to play the guitar. I, I enjoy uh, singing mm -hmm. with them. But I try to do some activities to, to forget about my job. I and on weekend, of course, I go to play soccer. I try to go every weekend. And today, oh, um, a friend called me. I want to to go to play with them the, for every Sunday too. But I, I I will go. I will go too because ah, football soccer for me it is it is a good a good way to. So, um, I, I, I don't remember, teacher, but I have to stress To get real, to get, get real. real. Okay. Okay, look, this expression, get, get real, means como deshacerse. Okay. Get real. Uh -huh. Get real. Get real. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Get real. And I guess uh, to me, this whole beginning of the year uh, has been crazy, Mr. Wilfred, because I had many things to do. And, yeah. But uh, I plan to go, uh, how do you say trotar, teacher? Correr, trotar. Right. Oh, jog. 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 No. Yeah, remember that it's jogging. Okay, you go jogging. Okay, I plan to go jogging when I recover and to get rid of the stress. Yes, it is, it is good. Um, I remember four or five years ago, I, I uh, with my, my oldest kids, we went to, to jogging around five or six kilometers per day in the morning. But we, A lot. Yes, we, we woke up oh, we, uh, I remember at 4, 4 a.m. But it is so nice. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. But you have to be careful, sorry, because uh, you have to find a way to... to <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, I have been surprised because uh, uh, something like this ha had never happened to me. 
It's my first time. <clears throat> I, I hope you will you will be okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, Osorio told us with Marcela and I that he got a um, partial. Yeah, he told me yesterday. Yes, but it is in my company. It is sometime. Uh, for example, today a co-worker go go home too because he feel very very bad. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, I mean I but, understand you. That that happens. You know. <laughs> yeah, it, it it is typical typical. Yeah, we go yeah. like this, right? Mm -hmm. This yeah. job is yeah. very um, demand. <laughs> then some people yeah. asking, what, what, how do you feel? Ah, good, good, good. But yeah, just to... <laughs> just fine, just fine. You get like <laughs> yes. yes but... I don't rem I don't remember the last time that this wasn't working. Really? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, who cares? Don't worry. Let's go back to the main room, guys. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm late, but I'm good. You went to the office? Sorry? You went to the office? No, 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 at home, but uh, I have a, a meeting to like. Ah, yeah, that's that. Oh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I have uh, some pending. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry. I mean, situations like that happens once in a while. And that's normal. I mean, we live kind of a hectic life nowadays. Welcome, Fernando. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Anna Claudia, tell me about one of your partners, please. Sure, sorry, <laughs> I'm mute. Uh, yes, I was talking, I had a very interesting conversation with Maria Alejandra. Now I understand why she moves every day from her house to her mom home and her granny. She is busy because they have like a store, her granny home. So today was a kind of one of those days uh, she was picking up her mom to both uh, bringing her to her mom granny home. So both stayed there all the morning. But before she start her shift at 9 a.m., she works together with them and she was restocking the refrigerator with different beverages and doing a lot of things before starting to work on her shift. She was explaining to me about all the things and, and, and think how she works every day. A lot of movement, <laughs> but it's okay. Again, 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 I'm sorry. I got almost everything. Who was that again? Maria Alejandra. <laughs> ah, don't believe her. No, oh, come on, my and you, God. Oh, my God. I admire her because... You you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. Don't <laughs> come on, did you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. Thank you, Ana Claudia. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, uh, where's... I think I'm sworn. I'm helpful. Here. Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello, teacher. Tell me about your classmate, please. Okay. Uh, well, Martha, for example, she told us that she had a, a normal day in her work because she, she has uh, some cases 
about technical support. Uh, she told us that she told some problems about a system uh, in other offices of her company. And let me see, I don't remember too much, but it was a very normal day for her, just uh, solving that kind of problem in the, in the software of her company. And, and Walter told us about about her his job and told us about he was doing some workout with with a with a partner in the afternoon I guess if I remember well uh, and she has uh, a lot of work too and actually Francisco are working are still working right now so uh, he don't doesn't participate in the exercise. But that are the, the, the activities of my partner. Okay, perfect, thank you. Marta, your turn. Yes. Well, the same, different. <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> well, my partner, my partner was uh, Walter uh, Frank. Um, let me see. Uh, I start with Walter. Um, he talked me about the good day. Today, uh, he exercised the gym at the night. Um, prepare report um, every day. Um, from he visited Chalatenango Las Piletas today. Uh, he told me today was a productive day uh, productive. because productive day because um, he visited a client or benefit and uh, coordinate activity for next week um, about the cultivate the vegetable um, plants and fruits etc okay perfect excellent 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 now let's see let's see uh, uh, um, uh, Marcela, your turn. Okay, my partners was in Wilfredo and Mr. Osorio. Wilfredo told us that he usually, well, he, he told us about what, what he does in his job and that uh, a machine in his job today was broken. That's why he had a, a hard day because it was like, I don't know, and we didn't know the word to say a, a machine a, which works like lavanda in the supermarket. Conveyor. Yeah. The conveyor. Thank oh, the conveyor. You. The conveyor. I'm sorry. And, that machine was broken. He lost a lot of time. Uh, he told us that he, um, the personal uh, who fixed the machine started at 9 a.m. and they finished at 1 p.m. That's why he, he lost a lot of job. And uh, later, Mr. Osorio told us that he yesterday he got a paralysis, a paralysis, and well now he's sick. Uh, the all day he tried to rest, and uh, he was trying to let me see to get rid of his stress. Get rid. Get rid of his stress. That's that's all. Okay, just a second. Oh, 
Okay, guys. Now, next question. What do you think? Should the advertisement of junk food be banned? Do you think uh, it's a problem that they advertise too much junk food? Do you think it is affecting people? It's necessary, teacher. I know, I know, I know, I understand you, but, but remember, for some people, it's a problem. So I want you to discuss it, okay? You will have five minutes for this discussion. Please jump in, let's do it. Teacher, I need yeah. I need the permission for the for 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 the group in this moment. Please repeat the 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 facility me todavía la pestañita para ingresar al grupo, por favor. Okay, let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Lo voy a enviar a un grupo y desde ahí lo voy a regresar al que le corresponde. Okay. apareció Um, okay, what happened with the teacher? I don't know. I don't know. Understand the <laughs> question. <laughs> what? <laughs> teacher is a delicious food. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But... Should be a first time. No, teacher. Come on. <laughs> In my opinion. I don't think that she'll be banned because I mean, all of us uh, made the decision that what want to eat, right? So I think, I mean, I know that eat a lot of junk food is not good to health, right? Yeah. Uh, mostly for the children, the young people, the most young people, because the, the statistics about the, 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 the fat problems in, in, in childhood. Obesity. 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 But yeah. I, I think so the problem is not It's not about the food. It's about the portion and um, frequently when you yes, eat yes. the food. Yes, of course. Is when the people eat. For some regulate plating advertising, for example, in I don't know. Ah, I understand in about size. Uh, in the advertising about hamburgers, uh, mm -hmm. the Big Mac, in the in the advertising is a big burger, but when you go to the restaurant, it's a <laughs> it's a little burger. I don't know. Oh yeah, like 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 that they that they are advertising. Oh my God, it's so difficult. This word misleading. <laughs> Misleading, misleading advertising. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I felt like you were saying kind of this advertise, like when you see, for example, the cigarette, cigarettes that yes. they say that it's gonna be so bad to your lungs or something like that. But I say with the with in in my mind that. Even if they are not some advertising, and uh, 
then I purchased the, the complement, but the in the morning before leaving, I always prepared my my breakfast. But sometimes I, I slept and woke up late. Those days I must I purchased my 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 food. Yeah. And the easy is uh, the junk food. But I think it's yeah. part of your education that if you know, uh, if you don't put limits to what you eat or what type of food you eat, so you will get sick soon. But if you know certain food is uh, bad to your body, uh, at least uh, you can you are on top or you keep in mind that it's not for every day. You see the advertisements, yes, but it's not. Uh, but not always. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. It's not uh, uh, making you to go and purchase. It's a part of education, yeah. as you say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's not for every day, it's for some. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I don't know, Maria Alejandra. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that... Uh, it <laughs> you don't really worry, there's no kind of advertising every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't buy a lot of um, junk food or fast food. The reason is I have a bot. Yeah, all the time when you buy a lot of food out or take, um, I don't know, delivery or I don't know, is very expensive That's because right. you don't, well, in yes, my case, I don't, have, uh -huh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of money to pay all my time for food uh, with a uh, fast food or I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I it's think that it. is a culture or culture or it depends on your parents to learn what do you eat. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I have the opportunity. What kind of food eat your friends? Uh-huh, yes. Exactly. No, you know, I was so surprised because... Uh, my God, I wouldn't be paying like $7 with 99 cents or more for a combo for uh -huh. just one hamburger and, and a soda and, and potatoes. <laughs> My God, I was so surprised. I had a lot of time not purchasing anything like that. And I was, what? No, come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that is very expensive when you yes. buy it. And the different times in the week, uh, uh, junk food or fast food, uh, mm -hmm. I like. But uh, my problem but it's not is, for every day. Exactly. Uh -huh, not for every day. And my problem is, I worry very quickly uh, for the different food to eat very frequently. Mm -hmm. and no, but you see, we are we think almost in the same way but because we are adults but the advertisement of junk food goes direct to kids with these uh, toys uh -huh. for uh -huh. Uh -huh. different yeah. seasons or movies uh -huh. and I don't know what do you think about that yes they always ask for this kind of food not for food Mm -hmm. It's for a, a toy. For mm -hmm. toy. That's right. Mm -hmm. So should be banned. Teacher, mm -hmm. banned. No prohibido, pero sí regulado. Ah. It's okay. not here. Depending the on, depending on, ah, yeah, here. depending on the situation. Yeah, I am here, Janita. <laughs> <laughs> because banned, actually, it's prohibido. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if can be banned at all because they need to sell too. I mean, there are employees that depends on those. 
jobs. But, but now in the school, now, um, I don't know how to say chalet teacher or the store in the school. Cafeteria. The, ah, cafeteria. Cafeteria. They they have a, a, a barrier for, for, for junk exactly. food. Exactly, you're right. This is a, a good way to, to change the part of education. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah. Uh, now, forbidden, we say that is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. And ban is forbidden. My God. <laughs> <laughs> And prohibit is forbidden and ban it. <laughs> prohibit. Yeah, prohibited. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just that both express the same idea. Uh, okay. Okay. They are pretty, pretty exact uh, synonyms. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference is this, when you have something that is forbidden, it's uh, morally forbidden, okay? That's uh -huh. the, the, the connotation you get. Uh -huh. You get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the case of a, a ban, it's not quite morally, but it could be like by law. Okay. Mm. Okay. I think it will be better to have regulations, not com not ban, but there will be regulations for this type of advertisement, like um, hours of the day where they show up on TV or banners, stuff like that. It's the same case with the smoke. In the box say, uh, smoke is bad for healthy, mm -hmm. but in all movies, present that the smoke is very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You are right. Hey, it is. <laughs> it, it is bad. It is bad for your health. That's what I was hey, that oh. was cool. Oh my god! I'm I was about to ask you. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I was about me. to ask you. Do you smoke? <laughs> Hold on. Depends who's asking. <laughs> My ballet doors are closed in rooms. Let's see, everybody's coming back. Hey, Roxana. Hi, teacher. Smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. 
Yes, I try. That's what we do, believe me. You're not alone on that. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Everybody's coming back and he's gonna get the he's gonna get the attendance. Okay, guys, let me get the second attendance, please, if you are so kind. Uh, Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorco. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Rebeca Jasmine Montarosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iberra Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Mar Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Hey, teacher, okay. present. No problem. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. Let's see. Fernando, what do you think about the question we were discussing? Should the advertisement mm -hmm. of young people of be banned? What's your opinion uh, on it? No, teacher. Should be, uh, the advertisement should, should not be banned because it's exciting. Only I think that it will be a regulator and we need, we need to be more honest advertisement because they they like to ask sometimes but uh, besides the the the, the false advertisement the responsibility the responsibility is is the is for all the people because we are respons responsible of the gm food that we we consume so we eat Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks to you. Now let's see, uh, 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 Ambar, what do you think? What's your opinion? Ambar. Okay, yes, we got it. No problem. Uh, Jose Wilfredo, what about you? What do you think? Okay, teacher. I prefer not answer that question. <laughs> okay, we'll play the. <laughs> no, teacher. I'm crazy okay. lover, teacher. Oh, really? You enjoy yeah. junk food? Yeah, I like it. I like a lot junk food. 
No, but no, no. maybe uh, three times on a week. And to me, we don't have to ban a, a, the advertisement. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, let's see, Rebecca. Rebecca, you're around? Yes. Okay, tell me, Rebecca, should the advertisement of junk food be banned? I think, no, well, I think the same that my classmate, I don't remember his name. Uh, I really love the junk food and I I think I'm agree with all the, the, the advertising and all this situation. I prefer to have the opportunity to, to enjoy the food and, and enjoy the, when I have the opportunity and when I have the money. And if someone have the money for, for buy the what is the life of each one, <laughs> I think. Okay. So you think it's up to the person, it's a personal decision? I don't understand, sorry. You think it is a personal decision, right? Yes, it's a personal decision. <laughs> okay, perfect, excellent. Okay, guys, now let's see. We got a conversation here that we need to cover also the conversation from the manual. So let me just get it ready. We're gonna go work in the manual. Remember that we are already in unit number four, which reminds me guys, please work in the platform, okay? This is our last week of this module. I need you to finish the platform. There are some of you who are still a little bit behind. I got a couple of you who have not finished the midterm exam either. Tengo un par que no me han terminado el midterm exam. Tengo algunos que no me han pasado de la sección 2. Eh, estamos ya por terminar el módulo, por favor. Resuremos, nos recordemos que lo mejor, lo óptimo sería que este fin de semana lo terminemos. Confío en que lo hagamos. Cualquier duda, por favor, pregunte. Let's continue. Okay, guys. Sarah is asking Ramon some things on the basics of inventory control. You have to read the conversation and take turns practicing with a partner. Okay? And the conversation goes as follows. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfon X. Don't do it. Now that the Elfon X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a, ch a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. I repeat. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfon X. Don't do it. Now that the Elfon X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Okay. 
Okay, guys, now I'm gonna send you to the groups. You're gonna be working in pairs. Groups are created, please. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just do a little something here. There you go. Please jump in. No problem, Susana. It's just that uh, automatically it creates for everybody, but don't worry. I understand your situation. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem, no problem, no worry. stores you will not sell much that's one of the problems with inventory management when you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market you might end up paying the product for products you can't sell yeah perfect so Good Again, I start in this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough, enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to, to, have, it, to have it stored. Oh, well. I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with the inventory management. When you have too much inventory, 
constantly when you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there's a change in the market you might end up paying for products you can't sell okay the last time yeah how does inventory management work ramon um you need to See everybody's going back in a few seconds now. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's do it. Francisco and Mr. Osorio. Who is start, teacher? teacher? Francisco, you'll start. Okay. How does inventory manage, management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on the stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. Perfect, guys. Both of you, thank you very much. Thank you, Dich. Jose Wilfredo Echala and Maria Alejandra. Maria Alejandra, you start. Okay. Uh how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking on investing in some new cases for the L. Phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management when you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You may end up paying for products you can sell. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, Rebecca and Janita. And I'll start. Janita, you will start. Okay. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough product in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it, but you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elephone X. Don't do it. Now that the Elephone X is on the store, you will not so much. That's one of the problem with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Perfect, ladies. Thank you. Uh, Fernando and Roxana. Roxana, you'll start. Boy. <clears throat> How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some cases for the, for the Elphone X. Don't do it. Now that the Elphone X is on the stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you know you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Perfect, thank you. Marta and Frank. Marta, you'll start. Okay, teacher. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will, or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for that Airphone X. Don't do it. Now that the Elphone X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might end up paying for products you can sell. Perfect. Erwin and Stephanie. Stephanie, you'll start. Okay, perfect. How does inventory management work, Ramon? <clears throat> you need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking on you. I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfan X. Don't do it. Now that, uh, now that the Elfan X is on the stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because, because you thought uh, you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you might, you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Okay, perfect. Erwin, just remember, end up, end up. Get it together, okay? End up. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. Now, Amber and Anna Claudia. Ana Claudia, you'll start. Okay. 
June, uh, how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now that mm. the L phone X is, one, is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market. You might end up paying for products you can sell. Okay, perfect. Marcela and Wilfredo, please. Okay. Mar Marcela, you start. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customer when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory. Or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the L phone X. Don't do it. Now that the L phone X is on the store, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did. And there is a change in the market. You might end up paying for product you can't sell. Okay, thank you. Nicolas and Nuria Lopez. Nicolas, you'll start, please. How does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough products in your inventory to sell to your customers when they want it. But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have it stored. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfon X. Don't do it. Now that the, that the Elfon X is on stores, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you thought you could sell more than you did, and there is a change in the market, you may you might end up paying for products you can't sell. Perfect. Now, Frank and Walter. Frank, you'll start, please. Okay, let me, one second. Okay, how does inventory management work, Ramon? You need to have enough a products in your inventory to sell to your customer and when they and when it would you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will apply in a lot of money to have in store. Oh, well, I was thinking of investing in some new cases for the Elfon X. Um, don't do it. And now the Hellphone X in on storage, you will not sell much. That's one of the problems with inventory management. When you have too much inventory because you can now the call sell and more than you did, uh, there is younger in the market. And you may and are buying for products you can sell. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Now, next exercise. Here we go. Okay. 
we got a couple of questions here. Why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory? What happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? Okay, guys, two minutes answering the questions in the groups. Uh, let me send you there in a bit. Okay, groups are open. Teacher. Yeah. I need to go to buy something with my children and I am going to get connection with my, with my cell phone. No problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. said uh, if you have an excess in your inventory uh, and the, the market change you might end up paying for products that you can sell you can sell i, I think right. so in the second question uh, it, it's, it's not but i think so in the is the continue the answer to Ramon. Uh, no, but you don't want to have too much uh, in your inventory, or you will be paying a lot of money to have it's in storage. storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. That is the, the, the answer. Because you have an exceed in your inventory, Obviously, you you have to pay a lot. Yeah. To store and, and you in you answer is is the number three. Yes.
Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Fernando. Tell me, Fernando. Uh, yes, why is it important to have enough products in your inventory? Um, it's important because you need to have enough product to cover your demand. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Thank you very much. Is it a good idea to have an excess of inventory, Marta? No, teacher. Why not? But you don't want to have too much in your inventory or you will be paying a lot of money to have in okay. storage. Perfect, yeah, paying money is not good for nobody. Thank you. What happens if you have too much inventory and market trends suddenly change? Uh, let's see, who's gonna help me with this? Hmm. Erwin. Well, um, you can uh, have a lot of problems. For example, you, you're going to pay more money to have the, the products in your inventory. So it's not a good idea to have an, uh, more than the, the, the enough products. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent, guys. I imagine all of you did well. Let's continue. Oopsie. Give me just a second. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Hello? Sorry, guys. Just give me a second. Just a second. Just a second. Okay, guys. Now we are going to talk about the topic that we were discussing the other day, but we were discussing it among some other aspects. But now I'm gonna be like specific. Tell me, should companies have dress codes? Are strict dress codes policies beneficial to companies? Yes, no, why? Okay, that's what I want you to discuss. You will have five minutes for that discussion so we can have enough time here for the sharing of the information that you discuss. Please, let's jump in. Jose and Francisco, the question, what was the question? Yeah. What do you think about the cost of the dress? Of dress, code? sorry. Is it necessary? 
Um, I think uh, yes, because in, in my case, I need to comply with the casual or formal dress codes. And I think okay. it, it, it's demostrar. Show. Show. Uh, shows the, the, the formal of the positions and, and, and shows credibility and generates of image of respect. Okay. It depends the, the, the your position. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It depends on the kind of job or the, or the company. Mm -hmm. If you work in a company that you're in front of the customer, you have to, to give a good, a good um, or also if you're working in a place that you have to move something big or thing like that, like uh, cement, for example, <laughs> for example. Mm -hmm. you have to 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 dress something that is comfortable for you. Uh huh. But for example, in in the place where I work, we don't use any specific dress code. Uh huh. We use we use dress like everyday, like common or casual dress. Uh -huh. Because we we use take calls, so we are not in front of the customer. Uh -huh. And where do you work? In a call center. Ah, in a call center. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It depends. So, uh huh. Hey, Francisco. Um. Oh, Rebecca, you're falling asleep on me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to turn I could, my microphone. I could feel you right here, Johnny. <laughs> That's okay. It's late. It's late, actually. Yeah. I'll go check um, another group. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we have a dress code at my company. But when I was going to the to the building. I wear a uh, shorts with a cap, uh, but not a um, uh, beach uh, t-shirt. If not that, like, like a good shirt. Mm -hmm. All the day and, and pyjama, pyjama. And pigeons. How do you pronounce pijama, teacher? Pigeons. 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 Oh. Who Pidges. wears pijamas? Little kids wear pijamas. Roxana wears in pigeons all the day. Roxana, you wear in pigeons all day long. That's comfy. Yes. <laughs> I hate pigeons. For me, I mean, for me. I don't like them. Okay, your piece is a shirt and a short. No, yes. oh, Roxana's. Well, girl, ladies' speeches sometimes I mean they are long. I don't know how they <laughs> sleep without with that much clothing on. Uh, you know, I cannot even wear uh, socks. I hate wearing socks for sleep. Yeah, me too. I cannot. I mean, if I put them on because it's too cold in the middle of the night, I'm like throwing them off. <laughs> and I always yeah. tell a job when they ask me, why, why are you not wearing socks for sleep? And I say, oh, it's just because I cannot breathe with them on. <laughs> okay. But for real, I mean, uh, it's terrible. Yeah, for not. Ah, no, no, me neither. I don't, I don't wear socks for, for sleeping. 
it's uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, it's uncomfortable. I mean, I mean, I can, I can send shorts, but no shirt either. It's terrible. <laughs> also uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, the dress code, the dress code of Oksana is biggest. Yeah, that's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a dress code at the company, Prabhu? Yeah, me too. When I when I go to the office, I have a dress code. Monday, do Thursday. You, do you get to wear a tie? Uh, yes, it's part of the dress code, but with the pandemic, we forgot. <laughs> We no assemble. <laughs> we don't we don't use we no we don't wear um, in the in the actual no. in my case I don't I don't have a dress code. Well for these classes is the only one that I have a dress code that I'm supposed to be like a formal shirt at least and but that's it. It's not mandatory the tie and let's see. I have had jobs where I have needed to wear suits. Oh. And, yeah, but you know, that's could... okay. That's okay for me. Uh, that's not a problem. I mean, I, believe it or not, it's funny. I enjoy wearing suits. I like them. But okay. you don't, yeah. you don't like, you hate the socks. Oh, yeah, but that's what nice. You know, when it's for my job, no problem. But after, I mean, whenever I got free time for me, it's shorts, sandals, shirts. Simple. Simple. Okay. You have uh, suits? Many suits? Yeah, t shirts and shorts and sandals. That's what I like. That's my thing. Okay. That's cool. That's my dress code whenever I got free time. Free time. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Dress code. Okay. Anna Claudia, tell me. Should companies have dress code? Uh, yes, it's important yes. to have a, a dress code because we've been discussing with uh, our teammates that it's necessary to identify where the people works, for example, the dress code for people working in a hospital is totally different for a, a normal company. And yes, they have a function, but yes, it's important to have a dress code so you can identify or you can reach to ask to someone depending on how they, uh, they use a dress code. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now let's see, Janira, what's your opinion on this? Well, teacher, I disagree with uh, dress code because I prefer to, to have freedom to choice. Uh, I think that if you have a good education and your father show you how is the best form to, to dress. You don't need dress code. In my case, in my company, we don't have dress code because we work from the house. Then sometimes I work with the pajama or t-shirt or short, very comfortable. Then okay. I, I don't agree with, uh, I disagree with dress code. Okay, you go for comfy. Yes, of course, teacher. 
tennis. I love tennis and I hate, how do you say, tacones, Maria Alejandra? I forgot. Heels. Heels. Yeah, high heels. yeah. High heels. yes, I hate that. I prefer tennis. Well, yeah. Yeah, the same as you. I hate heels, you know. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, okay. It's been a quite a, an interesting class. Let me get the attendance one last time, please. Ambar Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar. Uh, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Parlera. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. <coughs> Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. And Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Guys, please don't forget to work in the platform. See you tomorrow. Ana Claudia, please stay a second. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Yeah. I was about to click the leave session button. <laughs> I just wonder why you were not allowed to click on that button. <laughs> okay, Anna Claudia, let's see. I need you to text me on, on WhatsApp right now. Uh -huh. Please. What's up? What's up? Uh, the pair work. No, 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 no. Can you text me directly? Oh, yes, sure. Uh, hello. I am. Perfect. That's my number. Present teacher, I'm sorry, I lost my connection. No problem, Janita. See you tomorrow, Janita. Take care. See you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Mm, and infinity. Yep. Let me open it. That's going to help you so you can like work more uh, directly with, uh, I mean, it's going to help you with your fluency. Uh -huh. Because 
uh, we sound better when we use the infinitive and the gerunds appropriately. And you will find mm. out that it's quite interesting uh, to get to know how to use them. Mm -hmm. You will find out that some words you were using, like perhaps not quite right. Mm -hmm. And if you have noticed, I've been like trying to help some of your classmates, like correcting some of those uh, yes. vocabulary. Also here in the platform, let me share with you. Uh -huh. platform, we also have info related to it. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I see it right now. Okay, you come down here to Centro de Ayuda. When you click on Centro de Ayuda, you come all the way down to grammar. I haven't used that before. And when you get to grammar, you get to intermediate grammar. And intermediate grammar, if you see, <gasps> you can check number nine and number 10. You got gerunds, subject and object, infinitives after certain verbs. Wow, I haven't clicked on that before. Okay, yeah. also you can get, uh, you can check different grammar. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is kind of interesting, but something that is also awesome besides mm -hmm. grammar, uh, it's this one, vocabulary. Vocabulary mm -hmm. is, just look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now look. We got a lot of info there. Yes, it's in Centro de Ayuda. Let me just yes. click on it. it. I got, I in my course right now, then I have discussion, student manual. Let me just, I don't remember where did you, in the okay. main page, in the main page, all the uh, way down, look. Uh, scroll down, okay. Scroll yeah. down. <gasps> yes, I see. It. I thought that was a system for technical support or something like that. Also, I also. But I'm hearing uh, online. And then you Conquer. went to the platform? platform? No, you scroll down. You went out of the platform, you, you end up in a blog. Uh, okay, I scroll down and, and I can find... Recursos Académicos. Ah, okay, grammar, vocabulary. The first you Click. went clicking on grammar. was grammar. Ah, okay. okay. Ah, basic, grammar. intermediate. My God, there is a lot of... Mm -mm. Yeah. I didn't know that this information was here. Hey, thank you, teacher. Yeah, I guess I most know. of us, we don't know how to access to that part. Well, I am trying to tell your classmates on these sessions one-on-one, -on -one, depending on, um, on the topics that they need to reinforce. And remember, some of them have been with me for four or five months, so they, they know. Mm, okay, yes, I didn't know that the first time I see this. Thank you. Yeah, let's hope uh, it's helpful for you because that's mm -hmm. the idea that you can take advantage of that info mm -hmm. and that it can be, as I told you, helpful. Exactly. Because, because I mean, those little details, you know, grammar plus vocabulary help a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you get more vocabulary, of course, if you start like applying it, if you get into the vocabulary section, I will advise you to do this. Uh, look for vocabulary related to situations that you face on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So you can start like applying it on your mm -hmm. daily, on your, on your regular day. Like mm -hmm. uh, you start like making up the sentences on your mind or if you are alone, if you live alone, you can, or if you are on your room, you can like uh, not just think in the sentence saying the sentence exactly it exactly. helps it helps a lot yes thank you teacher for providing me this resource because first time i see it and i oh my god i didn't know it was there it's a good well, oh, there are fresh out there well, future time yeah mm, yeah mm, good information okay i will take a look on that okay well so glad to be of help have a good night and a clear <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good bye. night.
Huh? Yeah, almost done. Well, I'm sad. So tomorrow. <laughs>